Good morning, my name is Pete Melvin. I am CEO of Morelli and Melvin Design and Engineering. We're a naval architecture firm from Newport Beach, California. Our uh, firm is well known for high performance marine vessels, sailboats and powerboats. We've been involved with the America's Cup. The last time we were involved, we helped invent the foiling system that the current boats use. We're also heavily involved with motor vessels, uh, specifically power catamarans, and uh, pioneering some foiling concepts for those kind of boats. On the Aquila 36, we saw an opportunity to make an already great boat even better by adding a, uh, a, a foil assist to it. Uh, one of the nice things about the Aquila 36 is it's, it's, it's uh, a fairly wide boat for its length. A foil benefits from being long and, and narrow, in other words, what they call in, in aerospace industry, high aspect ratio, which helps improve the efficiency. So it was actually quite a, quite a good boat to install it on. We had to develop a new foil shape. We decided to try to raise the bar, create an all new foil shape that was higher efficiency, ventilates less, and just generally handles better. The objectives of the Aquila 36 uh, foiling project were to increase performance and mainly fuel economy efficiency, also sea keeping, making the ride better, and also handling. The performance efficiency improvement is on the order of 35 to 40 percent, which is fairly dramatic. It's, it's difficult to make, say, a 5 percent improvement on a well-developed hull like the Aquila 36. The sea keeping benefit is such that the uh, the boats, when they're on the foil, they're, they're just riding higher in the water, and especially in short, steep chop, it allows you just to go over the top of the waves with less, you know, motion felt by the, by the occupants. What we call heave, the, the vertical motion, that's what makes people seasick. And so when you have a foil like this, it reduces the, the heave motion and you know, makes, makes it more comfortable for the occupants on board, uh, less chance of people getting seasick. As far as the, the foil itself, there is a, a main foil, where that's what we're looking at here, and there's also a pair of trim foils in the back. The main foil does most of the, of the lifting, and we're lifting anywhere between 30 and 50% of the, of the weight of the boat, depending on the speed. And so the main foil does the main job of lifting. The trim foils are kind of like the tail on an airplane. They keep, they keep the boat stable in pitch. So as, as you're going through waves or generating more or less lift, it keeps the boat stable. So it's, it's not porpoising and, and uh, you know, pitching up and down. So one of the main innovations that we have on this foil versus other foil assist concepts that have been built in the past is this one has what we call um, uh, dihedral in it, and it has more than other foils uh, in, in the past. Uh, the boat's just a lot smoother, it doesn't ventilate and, and fall down and have some of the, uh, the problems that the older foil systems have had. Some of the more common questions that come up um, about foils are, what happens if you run over, say, a lobster pod or a buoy or a two by four, or say a big patch of seaweed or kelp? What we find is that it hasn't been a big issue. Generally, if, you, if you're operating a powerboat with a propeller and you run over a lobster pot, then you're going to get your propellers tangled in, in the lobster pot. The foil is actually much tougher than a propeller is. It's much thicker and stronger. So you're likely to do a lot more damage to your drive gear than you would to the foil in that situation. So the foils are actually pretty pretty tough in that regard. Any sort of uh, seaweed that you would go through, say with a propeller, will be just cut by the foil. We, we find that once you're going over about 20 miles an hour, the foil will, will just cut through most uh, organic matter in, in the ocean. We are big believers in the foil assist technology and we're really happy to have Marie Max and Aquila as partners in promoting this type of technology. There is no other technology that we know of that provides such a huge efficiency improvement. If you want to go faster to put say more engine power on the boat is costly. It costs about the same or even less to get the same speed improvement with a, a foil as it does to install that much more horsepower in the boat. The foils, on the other hand, don't drink gasoline. There's very little maintenance. It's just a one-piece fixed piece of structure. So there, there are no moving parts. And you get that, that huge uh, efficiency improvement as well. So we're big believers that this technology 
will be more and more prevalent in the future, and we want to be on the, on the forefront of that.